Guys, what is going wrong in society? Four teenagers have been convicted of the brutal and motiveless murder of a 15-year-old schoolboy who died just yards away from his home in Handsworth in Birmingham. Keon Lincoln suffered fatal injuries in the carefully planned and cowardly attack which was over in just 40 seconds Birmingham Crown Court heard. The schoolboy was shot and repeatedly stabbed and died two hours later in hospital. Tagim Breckenridge, who's 18, of Borsall Heath, Michael Ugochukwu, who's 18, of Edgbaston, a 16-year-old, and a 14-year-old gunman, who cannot be named for legal reasons, have all been found guilty of murder today. They had all denied the charge. The verdicts were brought in after a jury deliberated for over 15 hours, and they're going to be sentenced on November the 29th. The jury is yet to reach a verdict in the case of Kieran Donaldson, who's from Perry Bar, who was denied murder. They will return tomorrow to continue their deliberations. The 14-year-old was convicted of possessing a firearm with intent and the 16-year-old, Breckenridge and Ugochukwu were found guilty of possessing a knife. The court heard that the four convicted teens had been in communication with one another before the killing and they had acquired a stash of knives. On January the 21st, Judy was told they made a series of taxi journeys to cover their tracks before getting into a car which was on false plates. Just after half three, they spotted Keon in Handsworth. The killers had their hoods up and they were armed with large knives and the 14-year-old had a gun. They got out of the vehicle and as Keon tried to get away, they surrounded him. The prosecutor, Michael Burroughs QC, said Keon was stabbed eight times. The 14-year-old fired several shots, including the fatal one in his abdomen as he lay on the ground. The gang then fled the scene. The prosecutor said there was no motive that had been found for the killing. The prosecutor said the attackers were armed with lethal weapons. As soon as they saw Keon, they got out of the car and chased and attacked him. The 14-year-old who gave evidence admitted lying to the police about his whereabouts on the day but denied that he had been the gunman. Keon's mother arrived on the scene as her son was going in and out of consciousness and was heard to say he is only 15. The schoolboy was taken to Birmingham's Children's Hospital but at 5.40pm, he was declared dead. So just want to say rest in peace, Keon Lincoln, and my condolences go out to your family. So the prosecutor, Michael Burroughs QC, confirmed that Keon was fatally shot in the stomach and was stabbed when he was on the ground. The assailants, they ran back to their getaway vehicle and fled the area. Based on CCTV footage of the incident, the prosecutor told the court, this shows Keon Lincoln running away. You can see one of the attackers chasing him holding a knife. Behind them are two other people. The 14-year-old had his hood up and wore a mask and appears to be holding something in his right hand. Smoke appears around the item. This is the first of the shots fired towards Keon Lincoln. He has still the item raised pointing in the direction of Keon. There is another shot, the one that caused the facial injuries to Keon and the one fired when he was on the ground. He was only a school kid. Absolute madness going on in the streets of the UK. In the last 24 hours, I've put up two stories. I put one where a schoolboy was found guilty of stabbing to death a hero father. I'll put the link in the description below for that video. And then this morning, I put up another one where there was another schoolboy who was found guilty of murder after stabbing a boy. What is going on with these kids? And now today, this story of 14-year-old gunman fired shots at Keon Lincoln. And what sticks with me to this day is the mother's appeal when she came in front of the media and she wanted to understand and she pleaded with the local community to find out why this has happened to her son. She's a typical teenager, um, have our ups and downs, fall out, but we always came to an agreement. Um, he was just loving and it was heartbreaking. Um, devastating, unbelievable, shocking, doesn't make sense. Um, what he could have done to warrant this type of brutality makes no sense. Um, how do you live? How do you live after your child's been taken away from you? Um, it's, it's every parent's worst nightmare. He can't have been taken like this and nobody's punished for it. Um, 
we just need help come forward um, to not let Keon's death be in vain um, to help bring justice a bit of closure these are other young lives how could they be so cruel so wicked um, what's what's gone wrong oh. and at the time detective chief inspector Alistair Onkus from the Westminster police stated that this attack and the use of extreme violence was the worst that he'd witnessed in his 24 years in the police force. He said it was an absolutely pointless attack, one I can't clear my mind of. That I've been serving in the police service, and I don't say this lightly, this is the most gratuitous uh, use of violence, seeing the combination of knife and gun attack, which ultimately killed Keane. The answer to this investigation lies in the community. And we know that the nature of this crime, where it involves a young man that's lost his life and young men that have committed the crime, means that the information and intelligence is highly likely to rest with the younger community, but also their parents. Once again, I just want to say rest in peace, Keon, and my condolences go out to your family. When these guys are sentenced, I'll make sure I keep you guys updated. It's your boy, GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.